Let's play the Guardian's Cryptic Crossword. Uh, it came out on Sunday night in the US, Monday in Britain, set by Pascal. I'm only getting to it here on Wednesday. A uh, belt for clothes. Well, that's funny. I just uh, did the Wednesday crossword uh, and clobber came up in it actually clobbered so uh fresh in my mind is clobber to hit somebody and then also for clothes in the other in the daily crossword it was used for belongings but i i did say in the video i thought it meant clothes all right alter money coming back oh my goodness this is very easy change a boy with nothing wanting a bit of meat. Oh, that's good. Oliver, he wanted more. Uh, but O oh, and liver. Uh, like toast, not fit for <laughs> consumption, making one fed up. Um, toast, not fit for... Consumption sounds like burned or it fell butter side down or hmm. Not sure what that is. Some Arab bigwig and a prominent Jew. So that's a hidden clue. Part of Arab bigwig is rabbi. Uh, let's look at one foreign food are another with energy ah yes yeah. so ami is the french for friend with energy can be go and amigo is a foreign friend um environmentalist coming to land get signal to go well signal to go has to be a green light and environment environmentalist is a green and to land is to light uh, so now the toast uh fed up i suppose browned off but why is that like toast not fit for consumption i'm not sure uh, beef santa cooked for substantial meal uh, that must be an anagram of beef santa uh, let's see if i can work it out without using the anagram helper must be b followed by a vowel, an A, or an E. Um, nothing is coming to me. I don't know, the words beef Santa disturb me for some reason. <laughs> if Santa's going to eat a meal, surely it'll be turkey or ham. Uh, how about realistic, i.e. not up in the air, Oh, this seems a very obvious one, too, down to earth. I think the cryptic is probably a good one if you're new to cryptic crosswords to do this weekly cryptic. A um, little more <laughs> straightforward and hopefully doesn't have obscure words like the daily can have, as it in fact had on Wednesday. Um justified military action spoke violently i think it's going to be spoke violently and so it's going to be a word for justified followed by a military action what would that be uh not sure all right, how about 
food on toast, more toast, get this and pa will be excited. Well, um, sounds like an anagram. Presumably get this pa, ah, spaghetti, could be food on toast, I suppose. <laughs> I'm sure that would horrify any Italians watching, but uh, I think that's right. The splits demonstrated by little school miss dancing. Well, dancing can be an anagram indicator, and so school can be S-C-H, and then I-S-M-S, -S. schisms are splits. Not the ones we're thinking of from the surface reading, of course. Bit of a temper shown by husband meeting superior pair of females. Uh, oh, well, yeah. Husband is often H. I think superior was going to be A. I for A1 or just A, but it's U, uh, which I think is for upper class, and then F is female, so a pair of them, and you can be in a huff or go off in a huff. Attractive folk who are destructive. I think it's going to be a double definition, and it's generally going to mean attractive folk, but you might read it as being destructive. As stunners, maybe? But I think there might be another word, but something like a stunner. Uh, smasher? Yeah, smashers sounds more like being destructive. It's awful getting drunk, don't move. Well, drunk can also be an anagram indicator. So it's awful has eight letters. Don't move, I would think it's going to be sit. Sit, um, and then it's going to be just an anagram. Oh no, wait a minute, there's an H. So it's, uh, Ah, so it is an anagram of it's, so awful is the anagram indicator. Getting drunk is not an anagram indicator. But sit tight, of course, is uh, drunk. All right. Asian caught in that hailstorm. Well, that will be Thai. Hidden clue. Now, oh... Um, I was thinking breakfast, but it's not breakfast. Oh, a, a bean feast is a substantial... I do have very vague memories of hearing or reading that word, probably. And I think it might have been in old um, children's books, like Enid Blyton. Secret Seven or the Five Fine Diters and Dog or whatever they were. Um, did they have a bean feast? Maybe Beano actually might come from bean feast. All right, so the top part is in good shape. Uh, let's try African Lion Disturbed an American. Sounds like an anagram of African lion and uh, Californian, surely. All right. Lord with a bit of wisdom, not quite. I think Lord could be L. And then a bit of wisdom. Oh, not quiet, uh, not quiet. Uh, so loud, I suppose. 
how is a bit of wisdom O U D or Lord could be L O. Hmm. Not sure about that. Let's try the downs. What some French characters are stressed. Ooh. Um, yeah, I mean, is it talking about French letters? Uh, not French letters, but just letters in French. And stressed with an acute or a grave or a circumflex. No, not seeing it. A learner painting outdoors. I think that must be al fresco. A for is A, L for learner, and a fresco for a painting. I always thought al fresco was two words, but uh, maybe it it is one. Well, obviously it is one. Uh, so this isn't loud. Lord with a bit of wisdom, not quiet. Hmm. No, maybe Lord is the uh, definition, and it's a three-letter word for wisdom with F for forte. Then it would end in RF. Surf, no. Fellow with a beagle, surprisingly well-behaved. Could that be... They surprisingly be an anagram. Maybe a short word for fellow. It could be a don. And then something a bowl, maybe. Well-behaved. No, not saying it. Try to agree in international game. No. One daughter with a house somewhere in the USA. Ah, so one daughter would be ID and A and house Idaho. Doctor had met death. At sea, maybe. Hmm. Doctor had. Why is it had? Met death. Oh, doctor could be an anagram indicator. But um, we have too many letters. No, uh, some in a circle, maybe. Getting qualifications. Ooh, I wonder if it could have ring at the end. And it's some ing word for getting qualifications. Some in a circle, maybe. Or could it be a hidden clue in a circle, maybe? No, I do like the... Uh, or of course, it could also be starting with R and then ending in I and G, but could this 19 down end in an I? A bishop with extraordinary zeal on fire. Ah, uh, no, so that is... A is a A again, B, our bishop is B, and then an extraordinary is an anagram indicator. So a blaze. So in a circle, maybe getting qualifications.
Hmm. Yeah, it could be a... Yeah, I'm not, still not sure about that. All right, yours truly, which would be me or I, in danger stupidly, going off course. So I think it's going to mean going off course, and this does look like an ing word. Uh, going off course. In danger. Uh, so I presume, let's see, we need 10 letters. So in danger plus me. In danger me. D. Mm -hmm. We going off course. Meandering, ah, uh, yes. I don't know if meandering is really going off course, but then I suppose it is. Um, does that help? Some in a circle, maybe getting. Uh, no, I don't think so. Now we do have the B. Uh, so I do think it is an A, B, L, E. Oh, could it? No, oh, no, not agreeable. It's only nine letters. Manageable. I think a man is a fellow. And then our anagram of a beagle. Um, devils protected by rude monsters. Uh, so it's, this is a hidden clue. Within rude monsters, we have demons. A, quietly concealed garden pest. Well, I'm sure many of you have to deal with aphids. A for A again. P for quiet from music, the marking piano. Uh, concealed is hid, and we get an aphid. All right. Oh, well, this has to be, uh, it's a double definition. Uh, some in a circle, maybe, degrees. Getting qualifications. Now, international game... Seems like it's going to be something match. Oh, test match. So to try something is to test it. To agree can be to match. And an international game of cricket is a test match. Article by fellows getting the last word. Ah, so we have quite a lot of A's in this crossword today. Uh, fellows are men, and the last word in a prayer, amen. Now, justified, uh, warranted. Ah, so it is the other way around. Justified is the definition. War is the military action, and then ranted is spoke violently. Now, doctor had met death, at sea, maybe. Oh, death at sea, I think maybe drowned. And so DR is doctor had met. Could that be owned? I, hmm, maybe, maybe. As of some French characters, I did say acute and grave, and that they are collectively accents, so accented and stressed. Now, Lord, with a bit of wisdom, not quiet. 
Owen Earl. Ah, yes, so a pearl of wisdom. But uh, that P for quiet, you remove it and you get an Earl. All right, I think this may be my quickest solve. Let me uh, check all. Everything is still there. All right, yes, that was, I think, pretty straightforward. I started well, then I ran into a bit of a slowdown, but picked it up again. All right, thank you, as always, for watching, and have a great day.